No, how do you say it? I said, do you have these with Asin on them? And he said, <laughs> he's like, what? <laughs> Just take this. So getting ready in an RV hasn't been that much more of a change. Especially when you become a mom, you just have like five minutes, if that, to uh, throw yourself together. There's not great lighting in this bathroom. So sometimes I get ready and get in the car and then think, oh my goodness, what have I done? <laughs> I look like a clown. I use these little crates. And that's what holds everything together when we're traveling down the road. So we've been staying somewhere without a water hookup. So we just use the water that's in our tank so I don't get to wash my hair as often as uh, I do when we have a water hookup. So dry shampoo has become my friend to get me through. <laughs> I saw a meme one time that said, by Friday my hair is 90% dry shampoo. <laughs> I think that's becoming the truth. This is my quick morning routine and I love just to put on like a podcast and listen to something spiritual or motivational just to get me going in the morning. Yes! All of baby <laughs> nose to toes. Let's go. Let's go. Where are we going? So today we're heading to Baltimore from Little Bennett Campground just outside of DC. It's about an hour drive. <gasps> We're hoping it's an hour drive. As long as there's no wrecks, no fires, and no bomb threats, all of which have happened since we've been around DC on the roads and bridges. Yeah. Hinsley is hopefully gonna sleep on the way. She's already yawning. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Just do it. You're not driving. You're over here. Daddy's driving. Well, we were making good time. <laughs> and then this happened. <laughs> we were about 30 minutes away. What do you think about it, Hensley? Doggies? You're supposed to be asleep right now. Doggies. The, what, doggies? Doggies. <laughs> you got uh, random stuff going on in your head. They're My going to, they're going to hell. In trouble. Yeah, they're going to hell, Hensley. My truck. <laughs> Two guns, that's right. You wanna go watch a movie? So we're inside the visitor center and uh, Hensley made it through her first movie experience. So we've, there's been like dozens of movies in different visitor centers we never made it through one. And we've always had to walk out. Yeah. Now she commentated the whole time and yes. talked about everything that was going on very loud. She got most of it right. She started clapping when the British attacked America one time, but <laughs> <laughs> saying good job. But uh, other than that, her commentary was pretty spot on. Yeah. She let us know when it was raining. <laughs> yes. Or and boats and bombs and <laughs> stuff that kids like. And you have to watch the movie. It's really cool. And then the screen behind us at the end of the movie lifts up and you can see the fort directly behind it with the flag flying. Check well, it out. What's cool about this place is it's where Francis Scott, he got his inspiration to write the Star Spangled Banner. So that is what is so neat is because they lift up that screen and you can see where the flag was flying and where he got his inspiration. Nobody else is doing that. Well, hold on. 
Come to Mark, Fort McHenry. It's uh, it's free to come and the visit, watch the visitor center and the movie and everything. Uh, it is a ten dollar fee per person, per adult. I think sixteen and over if you want to go inside the fort. Uh, we were gonna do it. One of the employees told me that it's kind of hard to get around a stroller, and uh, she totally did not nap on the way here. <laughs> and so we'd be carrying her around and watching her around. And he kind of the way he said it kind of hinted that. The walls were fragile and didn't know if it was the best place for a toddler to be running around. So, so we're uh, out here on the outskirts <laughs> where they make the uh, people with the wild toddlers go. <laughs> but we're close to the water and the ducks. Hey buddy, yeah, there he is. He's a wobbling, isn't he? Yeah, he is. So this bridge out here is around the area Francis Scott Key was at. Because he, was, he wasn't in the fort when it was being attacked. He was actually with the British on the boat because they uh, captured him or whatever. So he was out there at the bridge. <laughs> he had seen too much to be let go. So. Yes. So this is the same location that the flag would have been flying at as well. It's a different flagpole and a different flag. The real flag's in the Smithsonian in DC. Bummer of a special note. <laughs> the, uh, the original flag, which the uh, colonel, whoever's in charge uh, after the battle, took it home with him and they passed it on from family to generation to generation. And what they would do is people came and visited the family to see the flag, he would cut off a piece of it and give it to people to take home. So the flag in the Smithsonian is like <laughs> missing eight feet. <laughs> but, Somebody somewhere has some of it though. Yeah, yeah, it's a little <laughs> spread out all over America, so maybe you can look at it that way as a positive. <laughs> with this brownie in Whole Foods, so we're gonna go in here. The only person who makes Whole Foods unhealthy. She's so worn out. She got it? Yeah. What, no charge at all? No, he's giving it to me as a sample because I don't know if this is it or not. Okay. It's my lucky day. I think the like cake stars have aligned because I didn't get cake last time in our cake experience. They will take frosting and put it on top of a brownie for you, but they act very confused by that. <laughs> Especially when I say the word icing. They're like, what? <laughs> Did you hear him? No, why, why didn't you say it? I said, do you have these with icing on them? And he icing? Said, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what? Yeah. Just take this. So I'm searching like every Whole Foods in the U.S. trying to find the brownie with icing on it. And nobody makes it anymore. So I'm pretty sure this is the brownie, but it doesn't have the icing on top. So for some reason, they've started leaving it off. But it's the same like fudge brownie. But I have had them add the icing if you ask. So that's a little trick. I can't imagine there ever being a good reason to take icing off of something. It's Whole Foods. Yeah. It was probably too unhealthy. Yeah. So chocolate brownie with fudge and chocolate icing is what it was. Yes. Your man took the icing off. Yeah. Okay.